We have Denver Handmade Homemade with... Danny and Steven! Give it up, ladies and gentlemen! Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. So, my name is Steven, and I am a baker. My name's Danny, and I'm a woodworker. And... Uh, we are really pumped about taking our business to the next step, turning our hobby into business. We uh, vend at the Denver Handmade Homemade Market. Who's been to the Denver Handmade Homemade Market? A few hands, great. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so it's designed to benefit uh, people like us, p uh, small local producers. So it's only $20 to have a table at the market and there is a small percentage of sales um, that are paid after the, after the market. Um, it's a sliding percentage, so it's very low risk, so the price is right, and it's the perfect opportunity to um, test out a new product, to launch a new business. And the way they keep those, oh, thank you so much. The way they keep those fees so low for vendors is that uh, they suggest donations at the door for everyone that comes in. So it kind of levels out the admin cost, takes some off the vendors and puts it on to the community um, in a good way. Um, <laughs> and it's really exciting to be there. Not only do you get to support small local businesses, but you also, oh, that's nice. You also uh, get to learn about bartering, sugar. You get to learn about bartering. You get to uh, kind of play with alternative currencies and enjoy live music and delicious food. So they recently designed a new program. It's called the Vendorship Program. And it includes things like discounts on services and goods at local businesses. So it helps to provide um, some of the tools that are needed for getting projects going. Um, it also includes a communal workspace. And the space uh, will host events, it'll host the markets. Um, it's also a great place for meetings. Um, there'll be access to office supplies and other tools, uh, storage space for um, all, of the, all of our tools. Um, <laughs> um, additionally, there's a commercial kitchen space, which is perfect for Steven um, to make his goods and to store his stuff. So we're really excited about that. Um, because commercial, kitchens, um, commercial kitchen space is really hard to find these days in Denver, we know folks who are actually traveling all the way to Longmont from Denver just to access that, that space. So it's I have to drive exciting. to Cheyenne, Wyoming to cook. So. <laughs> the one part of rehearsal I get flour all over my shirt. Um, More black. So <laughs> I'll talk to you guys. I'll take it. They're also going to be hosting uh, workshops that will <laughs> that are facilitated by partner organizations like uh, the Denver Permaculture Guild, CSU Extension, uh, Denver's or Colorado Small Business Development Center, uh, plus group uh, group consultation and sessions with um, I don't know what's going on. With oh, you got glasses. Um, so there will also be experts in uh, web design, social media marketing photography that are going to be doing group sessions and consultations too. That's great. Yeah, so what's so cool about this is not just the space and the opportunities, but also the fact that these guys are supporting collaboration, creativity, and building community uh, among people. Um, so it provides opportunities for people like us to get our businesses started, <laughs> to help us keep track of our stuff. <laughs> and also, um, they provide opportunity for people who want to shop, thank you, shop locally. <laughs> And they're helping to support the Denver economy, in essence. Oh, um, so it's so for all this to happen, they are launching a thirty thousand dollar Kickstarter campaign. Woo! Give it and, up. Wow! And uh, not only will that support and fund the program that, programming that we were just talking about but it'll go towards renovating the space. So that means buying new kitchen appliances. I'll talk to you guys over there. Buying new kitchen appliances, um, building uh, big communal work, sh work tables, office supplies, tools, anything that uh, blossoming makers will need uh, to build their business. Oh, including uh, 
developing an Etsy style community web store for vendors to use. How cool is that? Denver only. <laughs> of course, we have to take care of business. So um, some of the costs will go toward um, cushioning. Well, some of the funds will go toward cushioning costs while the revenue stream and the membership base gets stabilized. And also, um, there will be a short-term stipend for one of the organizers so they can put all of their time into getting this mm -hmm. up and running. Yeah. So. Um, <clears throat> Um, yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> it's the community's turn. The Haho has been taking care of us, and so now it's time for the community to take care of the Haho so they can continue to create great programming and give back. Mm -hmm. And one thing I want to add, which was my line back there, um, <laughs> was that a lot of the most dedicated and wonderful Haho vendors have contributed really cool handmade perks to the cam campaign. So. Um, plus, there's chocolate making classes, coffee, all kinds of fun stuff. So um, it's jumping into the handmade community when you support this project. And as you can see, the Haho -ha has helped us to get ready for our project. Yeah. You deserve a shot after all you've done.